gonna do screen share. Okay. Um, okay. Hi everyone, I'm Christina. I, some people may know me because I'm also a social media chair for Club Med Virtual. And in addition to that, I'm also a Kaplan student brand ambassador, which is what I'm here for today. So I'm here to share with you guys some free prep. So um, a little bit more about me. Um, I'm also a junior at Wayne State University and I'm studying public health with a neuroscience minor. So what are we gonna do today? So first I am going to share with all of you a free MCAT study guide. Um, it's actually called a quick sheet. It's about 24 pages long and it's a PDF version. So all of you guys that enter your emails in the Google Doc that I'm going to send in our chat can get access to it because it's a PDF and you can always take it with you wherever you go. It can be like a little pocketbook for you guys. Um, next, I will also share with you guys some additional free test prep. That's not only MCAT focused, but if there are any um, uh, pre-farm, pre-dental, uh, pre um, pre-PA students, you guys can also take advantage of their free prep through the link that I'm also going to send. And there's also going to be um, some uh, information about an earned scholarship that Club Med Virtual can um, earn. And last but not least, Carolos is going to be sharing with, sharing with you guys about a scholarship auction that we're running currently. So you guys will have the opportunity to bid and win a Kaplan scholarship. Okay, so because Club Med Virtual is a Kaplan partner, all of you guys can just take this discount code right here, Club 10, and immediately get 10% off a Kaplan course. So if anyone is trying to register for an MCAT course, a DAT course, a farm course, a, a GRE course, you guys can apply this Club 10 discount and get 10% off. You can redeem it by going to www.captest.com or calling 1-800-CAPTEST. Um, and also what everyone loves, the free Kaplan study guide. So I have a Google Doc here that I'm gonna share with you guys that you guys can all input your email address into. And what I will do is, I have Branford, I just saw this, Branford. So apparently Branford is teaching bio too. Never heard of her. Anyways, I digress, sorry. So you guys can enter your emails either in the Google Doc or I'm also, I just sent it in the chat as well. So I'll give you guys some time to input your email address in the Google Doc while I, while you do that, I'm going to go ahead and show you what the study guide looks like. So let me, give me a second. I'm gonna stop sharing real quick and share with you guys the, the study guide. Okay, so this is what the study guide looks like. As you can see, it's about 24 pages long. And because as many of you may know, the, cap, uh, the MCAT is divided into four different sections. There's a um, biochem section, there's a physics section, there's a car section, and um, I'm forgetting one. Oh, psych and social. So, um, the quick sheet is divided just like that. So it's um, it's only 24 pages long and that's why it's called a quick sheet, but it touches based on general concepts that you, that you should be familiar with, like um, equations, definitions, terms, general ideas, like the parasympathetic system, the sympathetic system for the behavioral sciences section, um, ear, visual and auditory information that you should be familiar with that you might be tested on the MCAT, um, psych disorders that you should be familiar with, um, 
biochem and all the fun stuff lipids amino acids oh yes you have to know all of your 20 amino acids that you do have to know so all of you that are taking cell bio right now cement them in your minds because in your brains because you will have to memorize them okay so um Next, I will share some more free prep with you guys. So you guys can either scan the QR code here or you guys can visit this link and you can sign up from there. And when you scan the QR code or visit this link, this is the page that you will land on. So this is the first semester that well, Club Med Virtual is new, but every uh, semester Kaplan runs a campaign, um, so-called because we have free events running every semester, but they change a little bit. And this semester, because of what is happening with COVID and everything like that, and st students are trying to um, prep and everything like that, we're trying to make it more individual based, more individualized. So what does that mean? So signing up is fairly simple for a free prep. You're going to select if you're a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, or you're taking a gap year. And you might be wondering, why is it asking you to select which class standing you're in or class level? It's because um, the free prep, it's gonna be more individualized, meaning that if you're a freshman, you're gonna get more um, kind of basic uh, questions, kind of like, you know, psych and soch. If you're a sophomore, it's going to be more physics. If you're a junior, it's going to be more biochem. So it increases in intensity. So I'm a junior, I'm going to select junior, and I want to go to medical school. But if you want to go to PA school, for example, you're just going to have um, grad school, just stay as grad school. If you're trying to go to optometry school, you will select optometry, pharmacy, dental, you get the gist. So I'll select med school. I'm going to enter my name and my email address where I want to receive free prep from. And if I'm a Canadian resident, I will select that I'm a Canadian resident. So next I will go to my next step, which will land me here. Question of the day. So among the many free resources that you guys will get access to just by signing up, one of them is question of the day, which I love because it keeps you on track, meaning like if you are not studying just yet, question of the day is the perfect um, thing to take advantage of because every day you get one question in your email box that tests your knowledge. So for example, today, this might be the question. Now let's go through it together and just for fun to see what you guys have to say for this one. So the question is, a student is trying to determine the type of membrane transport occurring in, the, in, the, in a cell. She finds that the molecule to be transported is very large and polar. And when transported across the membrane, no energy is required, no energy. Which of the following is the most likely mechanism of transport? So we have several options. Option one is active transport. Option two is simple diffusion. Option three is facilitated diffusion or exocytosis is the fourth option. So um, let's see what you guys have to say. So where are all of my cell bio um, people? <laughs> we just got tested on this. Okay, let's see, I'm seeing facilitated diffusion, facilitated, C, C, okay. All right, you guys are on point. Let's see, is that it though? check answer and that's correct. So what I love about Kaplan is that not only does it tell you if it's right or wrong, but it gives you an explanation for it. Now, I don't know how many of you have already taken practice exams and you might be thinking that most questions on the MCAT are more passage based. Yes, that's true. But this is just an example of what a question of the day might look like. Another one tomorrow might be more um, detailed. It might be more um, passage it might look like more like a passage question. So this is just an example for you guys. So let's see, why is C the correct answer? So we're asked to identify the type of transport that would like to allow, that would allow large polar molecule, molecule to cross the membrane without any, without any energy expenditure. Wow, I'm struggling, you guys. This scenario describes facilitated diffusion because as you might know, 
um, diffusion is the one that does not require energy. And as the question stated, no uh, energy is required, but the molecule is large. That's why it requires a transport protein or a channel to facilitate the movement. So that is why C is the correct option. So along the other um, uh, question of the day questions that you will be receiving in your inbox, um, that's how they will be structured. So you'll get a question, you'll answer it, and they'll give you information on why it's right, right or wrong. Um, I'm also going to discuss with you guys some course options that we have to offer. And if you're interested in a course option, but you're like, well, I'm not just ready to um, purchase a course. I want to kind of test the waters. I want to see what it's like, what a real class would look like if I were to purchase this course. You can sign up for a free trial class to kind of get an idea of what a Kaplan course looks like. And you can um, select save your spot and you can start your free trial from there. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to share with you guys briefly some course options that we have to offer. Don't mind this QR code. I've been told from a previous club that it does not work. But if you have any questions, very easily you visit kaplantest.com and you can easily be, um, be transferred over to someone that can help you. So what course options do we have to offer? So we have four different course options. So if you're more interested on the material resources, then we have a test bundle that starts at 199. That's the starting point. So what does it have? Practice packs, cubings, books, um, practice tests, um, among other things. Another course option is the live online course option. So the live online is led by an instructor. So this is where it differs. This first one, the test bundle, it's more material, more um, material resources, more material prep. Whereas this one, in addition to the material resources, you also have an instructor that you will have um, uh, that you will have instructor-led lessons at a specific time that you select when you register. So, for example, if I choose a course that's on Mondays and Wednesdays from six to nine, there will be an instructor that will be leading that class. So in addition to the books that you'll be getting and the uh, study guides and all the other resources, you're also gonna get access to um, instructor-led lessons. And the starting point is 9.99. Also, there's a DIY course. So if you're the type that does not want someone to um, you just want to do it your way. You don't want someone to, um, you don't want like a schedule. You don't want to attend classes at a specific time. Well, the DIY course may be the best option for you. And the starting point is 449. And it's similar to the live online, except that the, uh, the, uh, the instructor led um, lessons that you'll be watching, they won't be live. They'll just be um, streamed. Like you can watch them at a later time. And there's a tutoring option as well. So if you like learning more one-on-one, -on -one, um, if you can't really do kind of class type lectures, you need that one-on-one -on -one attention, then this might be the op best option for you. And the starting point is 3,699. So when you're looking at these prices, you might be like, that's a lot, I can't really afford that. And I can understand that, which is why I'm sharing with you guys some free prep resources and the discount code. And in addition to that, after I finish talking about the course options, um, we're also gonna be running a, um, an auction to auction off a uh, scholarship for, uh, for it, it's gonna be an auction. So you guys are gonna bid on how much you want to, um, uh, how much you want to pay for the scholarship. The scholarship is worth $24.99. So it can very well get you one of these courses. But if you don't want to bid, we also have a Kaplan's um, tuition assistance program. So uh, what does that mean? So if you, uh, if you would like to determine if you're eligible to get tuition assistance on one of these courses, you can apply uh, to determine if you are eligible. 
And you might be wondering, how does Kaplan determine that? So we go based off of EFC, which is um, expected family contribution. So there's some financial aspect um, that uh, is placed into consideration when um, we determine whether or not you're eligible for tuition assistance, just like FAFSA, when you file FAFSA. In addition to that, we also look at your GPA. And if you're a student that has a GPA between 3.0 to 3.5, you get 50% off of a course of your choosing. If you are a student that has above a 3.5 GPA, then you can get up to 60% off based on your EFC score, which is expected family contribution. So there's two things that we really look at. And if you, you guys are interested in this, I'm also going to add the link in the chat. And you guys can explore that more at your own time. Um, before we get into the action, I also want to discuss some other things with you guys. So Kaplan is confident that if you take their course, you will do better than what you, uh, than how you felt or how you were before you entered the course. Uh, why, you might say. Well, because Kaplan has a higher score guaranteed policy or your money back, something that is unique to Kaplan test prep. So how does that work? So when you register for these courses, when you pay and register for these courses, or if you win the scholarship, um, you might have to pay even less. But anyways, when you uh, register for these courses, you're gonna take a MCAT styled exam. So it's gonna be proctored and um, instructor, uh, someone is gonna have an eye on you and everything like that. So it's gonna be very MCAT styled, what it's gonna look like on exam day. So you're gonna take that exam. And that's gonna set like a baseline score. So say that you got 500 on that um, MCAT, MCAT like, or MCAT practice, let's just call it MCAT practice. If you got 500 on that, and then when exam day comes, if you don't, if your score does not better from that 500, then you can either get your money back, the full, whatever you paid for it, if you did pay for it, or you can, uh, you can also go back and retake the course at no cost. So if you got 500 and then you got 500 again on real exam day, real MCAT exam day, then that means the, MCAT, the, the Kaplan course did not help you. So you should get your money back. Or if you want to, you can also, um, within 60 days, you can, um, uh, you can back, get back into the course. So here's where it discusses it a little bit further. So free reactivation, you can reactivate your account for an additional 12 weeks, completely free, or you can get your money back. So if you're like, I don't want to deal with Kaplan anymore, I want my money back, you can uh, get your money back if you pay. Option two is- Sorry, can you repeat that, what you just said? Okay, so the way it works is like this. When you register for the course, you're going to take uh, an MCAT styled exam that's going to set like the ba baseline. Obviously throughout the course, you're going to take multiple practice exams but there's gonna be a specific, a specific exam that they're gonna use as your baseline score. Again, during the MCAT prep course, not the real exam. So say you got 500 on that exam and then you finish the course, then you sign up for the real MCAT, you take the MCAT and you get 500 again, even after you took the Kaplan course. So what, is, what did the Kaplan course serve you, right? That's not fair for you not to either get your money back because you didn't better on your MCAT or retake the same course again and take the MCAT again to do better. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, when is the program expiration date? Is it whenever it ends? Or do you have access to your resources a little bit after the course ends? So here's what it says. You can uh, reactivate it. Um, by contacting Kaplan within 60 days of your Kaplan program expiration date. So when your course expires, you can uh, contact Kaplan again. Now, it depends on when you register for the course because there's different duration times for whatever course you select. But um, I'm also, why don't I share with you guys what I'm talking about? So 
let's consider the, uh, the online course for the MCAM. So I'm gonna look at the schedule right now. So if you want a course that you only have weekly meetings, like once a week meetings, then it's gonna be a longer course from February to April. If you want a course that has, uh, you meet twice a week, then it's gonna be a shorter course because you know, you're still gonna get the same amount of content, but you're just gonna meet, it's just gonna be shorter because you're meeting more often. So this is only gonna last until, until March 29th, right? So that's, that's what it's talking about. So 60 days after the program expiration date. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you so much. Yeah. And then you can reactivate it for an additional 12 weeks completely free. Or you might be like, well, I got a little bit of a better score. I got like 504 or 506. And, but I still want to prep. And I still want to prep for free. So you can reactivate your course for free again for an additional 12 weeks. But if you did score higher, you won't get your money back. So you only have one option if you scored higher. Does that make sense for everyone? Does anyone have any questions? It makes sense for me. Okay, good. Anyone else? Can you just kind of explain the difference between the DIY course and doing an online course? Like with the DIY, is the only difference that you don't have an instructor, you still have access to all the same materials? Yeah, yeah. So for the DIY, they're going to be like live online. They're going to be streamed, like kind of like recorded sessions that you can always have access to. You just won't really, you won't be held accountable to 10 sessions, kind of like an online course. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the way like the asynchronous online courses, you don't, you like watch videos if they post them at your own time, but you don't attend sessions like for org or for example during like from 10 to 11 you know okay and then the online course versus doing the tutoring so for the online course there's no one-on-one -on -one interaction like no office hours or well i personally i haven't taken it just yet um i haven't taken a course through kaplan just yet but um i think they do have um help available um obviously the tutoring option will be more you know, you're going to have a tutor all the time, whereas this one is going to be several other students and you, but I'm sure you can meet with an instructor to discuss any, um, any questions that you have. Thank you. So 12 three hour classes with a team of expert MCAT teachers, 90 plus hours of live and recorded lessons, QBank questions, 16 full length practice tests, seven book MCAT subject review set. Um, all AAMC practice material available, access to online resources for six months after your course start date. Um, some more information about our teachers. Hey, quick question. Yeah. Do you know if we get the physical books or is it like a, like a PDF kind of thing? I think you get the physical book but don't quote me on it because some of, it doesn't say it's a set. I think you get the physical books because otherwise it would say electronic version. Okay, all right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you get physical. But if you guys have, like if you guys are interested, you can call them anytime. They're more than happy to um, answer questions that you guys may have. Wait, I have a quick question. Mm -hmm. um, so you know how the DIY ones um, would be recorded versions of the lecture kind of thing? Would the um would the one on one ones um also be recorded, or you just have to attend them as they are? Yeah, good question. Um, I don't think those ones will be recorded because it requires more of an interaction between you and another person. So I don't think those ones will be recorded, but I'm not sure about that either. Okay. So this is a little bit more information about the DIY course, pre-recorded teacher-led lessons available on your schedule, independent study with resources to support you, and um, uh, access to the MCAT channel. And in addition to that, you get everything else. Um, 90 plus hours of live and recorded lessons, QBank, books,
Any other questions? So if you have not already signed up for the link that I sent this one, please do so because in addition to the, um, because uh, Club Med Virtual, like I previously said, is a, uh, is a Kaplan um, partner, they automatically get a free Kaplan scholarship that they can award to anyone within their club. But in addition to that, they can also earn another scholarship, which is worth the same amount of money, $24.99. Now, if you guys register by using this link, we keep track of how many people register by using this unique link. And if like 350 people register, you guys get an additional free scholarship that Club Med Virtual can award to any one of their members and you know do as they like with it. So um, if you guys wanna share the word and try to get as many people to sign up using this link because it could benefit you too. So, um, and I think if nobody has any questions in regards to what I just said right now, um, Carolos can take over, but I wanna make sure before he does, I wanna make sure that everyone kind of understood what I um, what I shared with you guys. And if there's any questions, please let me know. Um, Carolos, I think you can take over. All right, thank you. Hey guys, so my name is Corolos. I'm the treasurer for Club Med Virtual. So like Christina said, we received a scholarship from uh, Kaplan to give out to you guys. So we are currently auctioning it off. So for the next three days from tonight at 7 p.m. until Monday at 7 p.m., um, the auction will go and then the highest bid will uh, get the code. So how it's gonna work is um, you guys can take this code and apply it to any course that you want on the the Kaplan uh, website, like Christina said. So like some examples, you have the MCAT, the DAT, the PCAT, the LSAT, you know. Um, so it kind of, you can use it however you kind of want to use it. So Christina, if you don't mind opening this link and we'll have to put in the chat. So this is the listing, we have it on eBay. Um, the current starting bid is a hundred and a hundred dollars. And that's crazy because if you really think about it, it's, it's worth $2,500. So this is 4% of what it actually costs, which is like a crazy value. So if you guys are planning on taking anytime soon, um, I don't know exactly when the next course of um, the MCAT tests start, but I, if someone wants to, uh, I think this one might know, but if you guys do want to apply for this, uh, I, I believe you have enough time to take the course before the most recent MCAT that's coming up. Yeah, so for people that are planning on applying um, this upcoming cycle um, and want to take the MCAT around May, which is the most popular time to take it, um, a lot of the courses begin next week and go into May, depending on if you wanna do bi-weekly or once a week. Um, so I definitely recommend if you're planning on taking the MCAT or any other standardized examination this year, um, this is only available for, for this weekend, um, just from today until Monday. So I would definitely check it out. And if people can talk in the chat, just to get an idea, is everybody here for MCAT only or are there um, some PCAT, DAT students here? Okay, yeah, for people that are um, interested in taking the MCAT. I'm just speaking from personal experience. I'm studying for it right now, and it's really hard to hold yourself accountable. Um, a lot of people recommend doing self-studying, um, but especially with COVID, it's it's extremely hard to have structure and order in your life, at least for me personally. So if you're somebody that functions really well in a classroom environment where you kind of have somebody telling you what to do and grading you and assessing you and monitoring you, I definitely recommend doing a course. Also, if you guys aren't planning on taking it like, you know, like this week, if you guys don't want to start the course right now, uh, the code is valid through August 21st of 2021. So like, you don't have to start right away. You have time to like get ready and to sign up for the class that you want to take. 
Yeah, something that's uh, really popular, if you're currently a sophomore and you're going to be a junior this fall, um, a lot of people will take the MCAT um, in, their soft, in the summer before their junior year. Um, so if you're a sophomore right now and you have time this summer and you want to prep, this is a really, really great idea. And the hardest part is getting started. That is the most difficult part about MCAT prep. So this course will definitely push you to at least get started. And that's really important. And the course, the, the scholarship code, it's valid for not only MCAT. I know we overemphasize MCAT, MCAT because you know most people are taking the MCAT, but I noticed someone is um, pre-PA. So if you're taking the GRE, you can also um, use the code towards a GRE uh, course option. So, and it, it doesn't have to be only online live online, it can be the DIY, it can be um, whatever you select, so. Does anyone have any questions on how this works? Um, we sent the link out in the chat, so if anyone is interested. Um, the link is out for you guys and you guys can Take advantage of it because $24.99 compared to $100, let me tell you, that's a huge difference for a Kaplan course because you're just paying $100 for a course that's worth $2,499. Carlos, can you kind of talk about how bidding works for people that aren't familiar with it and what it means to bid versus make an offer? Right. So, Christina, could you go back to the the eBay page, please. So if you guys aren't familiar with how it works, so currently we're starting it at $100. So um, what, what you do is you put in a bid at 100 or higher. Um, and then it'll tell you if someone outbids you as well. I think, I believe you get a notification to your account. So then you can come back and bid even higher if you want to. Um, but an offer is um, if you want to bid below the 100, then you can put in like $80 and then we have the chance to approve or deny that. So if you guys like, if you wanna compete for it, I, I would recommend bidding for it because I, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people are gonna be interested in this. Okay, it's also then, not just, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, go, you were talking. <laughs> oh, I was just saying that this is not just open to our club. Um, if you guys have friends and family that are interested in this as well, uh, feel free to share the link with them as well. Um, I was just going to say, so just so, so that like everybody understands how it works with the bid, you have to input your card information, correct? So if we do accept the person's bid, they'll automatically be charged. Uh, I don't know that off the top of hand. I don't want to give you wrong information. I believe that's how it works from my past experience. So whatever, basically whatever price you're bidding, like you will probably pay that. So definitely be really realistic. Like if you're not willing to pay $1,000, but you just really want to win it, don't put $1,000 if you don't, if you're not able to do that. Just put put whatever you feel like this is worth and what you would be willing to pay yourself. Um, but don't just put something unrealistic that you can't pay because I'm pretty sure it'll ask you to put in your card information and then it'll automatically charge you. And I don't want something to go wrong with that. So. Does anybody have any questions? And are you guys interested in doing this? Is, does it seem like a good opportunity to you guys? Um, I'm actually trying to do it, but um, when I try to like put in a number for a bid, like it says the thing is like, I think it said the listing is currently unavailable or something. Like it showed an alert sign. I don't, I don't know, I'm a bit confused. Uh, did you try refreshing the page and trying again? Yeah, I mean, I, I was saying I'll do that one second. Okay, we can also check it out after the meeting. And then, yeah. sorry about that. And then we'll we'll update you guys in the group me. Hopefully you guys are all in the group me chat. Yeah, if you guys need to also think about it, there is, you know, a few more days left. So um, you guys have some time to just, you know, think about it and um, consider whether or not this is a good opportunity for you 
and I think it is, but um, it's up to you guys. So you guys have some time to um, think about it. Also, there's um, some really awesome scholarship and speakers that we have lined up, except that um, they're not willing to do it for free. So the money that is made off of this goes straight directly back into uh, getting more workshops and uh, certification courses and speakers for you guys. And then Christina, are you able to include maybe your email or contact information in case anybody has a specific question for you? Uh, yes, I actually removed my contact information accidentally earlier um, on the slide, but I will add it to the chat. This is my personal email. Um, I'm also active on Instagram too, so you guys can um, directly message um club med virtual if you guys have any questions for a faster response i can also um, ask answer any questions on there too and if you guys are having any trouble bidding feel free to reach out to any one of us um i'll put my email in too just in case you guys are trying to put in a bid and it's not working or something And then all the links that were posted in today's chat, they will be emailed out to you guys. Um, so if you didn't get a chance to save all of those, you will get them either tonight or tomorrow. Is anyone interested in this, thinking that they might be possibly, they might want to do it? I, I know Khadija said that she is working on it. Anyone else yeah. interested? <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely going to do it. It's a good opportunity. I'm not, I'm not even MCATing and I'm interested in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, even if you're not, you know, if you're not taking the exam soon, it's, it's a good opportunity because you're, you know, taking a course for 100 bucks or however much it is, it's, it's probably going to be around 100 bucks. So, of course, that's valued at um, $24.99. You're just purchasing it for a hundred bucks. So, um, and you're doing something good for the club as well. So um, it's going towards a positive contribution. Any other questions? Possibly Marcos, possibly. Okay, I'll take possibly. <laughs> All right, if Mohammed doesn't mind posting the attendance survey in the chat, and then if you're on board, so Christina, Carlos, Mohammed, please stay after just for five minutes. Just wanna quickly talk and then we should be all set. Sounds good. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.